So I want to talk about Cast. Uh, a little background. Um, I were, was part of uh, CloudKick, and you know, so um, I, you know, we started out working on monitoring and management of servers. And uh, you know, last year Rackspace was acquiring us, but we were always thinking about what do we want to do beyond monitoring. And uh, we were always kind of thinking about deployment was kind of the next step. And the way we always thought about that was we wanted to build tools for people to build better deployment systems. Um, but we probably should go backwards a little bit and talk about deployment in a more general way. Uh, so if you're familiar with this kind of thing, it's a uh, Maslow, uh, Maslow hierarchy of needs, which usually is applied to like, psychology. But we're going to apply it to deployment. So here it is. Uh, at the most basic level, you need to have releases. Hooray. Everyone has releases, right? Just like you're physically safe. But after that, you kind of move up in the world, and then you have your seven-year-old bash script, which everyone has to actually do their releases and their deployments. And that's, that's OK. And you can iterate on that. There's things that go above that, like Fabric or, or uh, Capistrano. But they're really just scripting automation to do things. They're not really intelligent about how your deployments work. The next kind of level is, of course, something like configuration management, uh, you know, Puppet or Chef, or you can bind that with Knife. And you can do some pretty cool things, but they're really about uh, many, taking an image of a machine and making another machine look like that. They're not really a high-level tool. The next kind of high-level thing is like actually having an API for deployment. You see big companies talk about this a lot. They have a one-button push on a web page, and magic just happens across all their servers. Uh, to get there, though, is pretty hard. And of course, the highest level is something like Heroku, right? You just plug in your code, and you don't really know how everything happens. But there's a lot of apps where apps and environments where you just can never get to that point for various reasons. So CAST is really a deployment system as a RESTful API. And we've kind of broken it up into four big areas. The first is service management. It sounds silly, but it's, you know, it's like init over HTTP, start, stop, and restarting services. Um, people have done this before, but we think it's critical to start exposing this in an in a HTTP API. Because once you see once you have an API for these things, people start building cool things on top of them. Uh, next up is actually managing release, you know, the release version. Uh, we have stuff to upload code, uh, and eventually want to do things like you know, build in BitTorrent clients, all those type of things to make it fast. Uh, upgrades and rollbacks, because uh, we also think a lot of people have you know, their like, rollback.sh script that they only run once a year, and then it breaks every time it, they actually run it. We want it to build kind of a core part of the system so that you're not scared of doing it. Uh, next is kind of actual building in a little bit of service monitoring, description of what runs inside an application, is get, getting your log files, finding out where your network ports are, and monitoring processes. And then finally, it's kind of building up to kind of basic service coordination. Where is my database server? And master election, kind of a zookeeper light. So CAST is an open source project. Uh, we started writing it probably nine or 10 months ago in various spurts. Um, it's written in Node.js because we thought that would be awesome at the time. It is still awesome, so it was a good choice. Um, it's Apache 2 license, and it's on GitHub. Uh, I would encourage you, if you're interested in like, the next generation of deployment, to come check it out and play with it and, and give us your advice. Uh, we really think there is a, a big gap between what platforms and the service will offer and what uh, most infrastructures really need. You know, you're going to have, always have a custom thing in your infrastructure. We just want to give you the tooling to make that easier and more consistent and you know, so you can give your talk about how your cool site deploys with one button push. And thank you. That's it.